What are the different types of aquaculture systems? If you have ever wondered how we can sustainably from fish and other aquatic organisms, you are in the right place. Aquaculture, or the controlled cultivation of aquatic life, includes various systems that cater to different environments and species. Let's break down the main types of aquaculture systems and see how they fit into sustainable practices and the management of Earth's natural resources. First, we have pond culture, which is one of the oldest methods. This system creates enclosed water bodies, often using dikes or buns. Ponds can be natural or lined with materials like clay to hold water. Common species raised in ponds include tilapia, shrimp, and carps. The intensity of production can vary from extensive, with minimal inputs, to intensive, where feeding and aeration are closely managed. Next up is cage culture. This method involves placing cages or nets in natural water bodies like lakes or coastal areas. The fish are enclosed but still have access to natural water flow. This system is easy to manage and is often used for species like salmon and tilapia. It is a cost-effective way to farm fish without needing to modify the environment significantly. Then we have recirculating aquaculture systems, or RAS. These are land-based systems that filter and reuse water continuously. Less than 10% of the water is discharged, making it a sustainable option. RAS allows for precise control over water quality and is suitable for urban areas where water is scarce. Although it requires a higher technological investment, it significantly reduces pollution and water use. Raceways are another interesting system. They involve long, narrow channels where water flows continuously, providing oxygen and removing waste. This system is ideal for species like rainbow trout, which thrive in well-oxygenated water. The closed design helps prevent fish escapes, making it environmentally friendly. Inshore and offshore cage farming extends the cage culture concept into deeper waters. Inshore cages are closer to the shore, while offshore cages are placed in more exposed areas. These systems help reduce pressure on wild fish stocks by providing alternative seafood sources. However, they do face challenges like storms and environmental regulations. Aquaculture systems can also be classified by production intensity. Extensive aquaculture features low stocking density with minimal human intervention, relying on natural productivity. Semi-intensive aquaculture has moderate stocking density with some supplemental feeding. Intensive aquaculture, on the other hand, has high stocking density and uses advanced technology for maximum production. Understanding these aquaculture systems is essential for managing aquatic resources sustainably. They interact with natural cycles of water, nutrients, and biodiversity. Sustainable aquaculture aims to balance production with environmental protection, helping to conserve our precious aquatic ecosystems while meeting global seafood demands.